In this video, we'll cover what you need to know to get started using solar power. Outcastland.com Well, if you are wanting to go off-grid or simply become more self-reliant, solar power is often the best way to go. Solar panels are virtually maintenance-free and have no moving parts, and most manufacturers provide a 20 to 25 year warranty, and the panel itself will often last 30 to 40 years. So let's take a look at how solar panels work and what you need to get up and running. The sun releases zillions of tiny packets of light called photons. Photons then travel down from the sun and land on your solar panels. Finding an area where your panels can gather the most sun is vital. Placing your panels in an elevated area, like your home's roof, a hillside, or a clearing without trees will provide you with the most solar potential. Your solar panels then take those photons, convert them into direct current electricity, or DC for short. The DC electricity then travels from the solar panel in into your batteries after passing through a charge controller. A charge controller is a must and is used to protect your batteries from overcharging and discharging. That way, the batteries perform better and last much longer. The two most popular battery types for a solar system setup are lead acid and lithium ion batteries. Lead acid batteries are the oldest and cheapest type of rechargeable battery. These batteries are by far the most affordable to purchase and set up, so they often are the first choice for beginners. But these batteries should not be discharged more than uh, 50 or 60 percent. Lithium ion batteries cost way more, but what you get in return is a battery that can be discharged at 85 to 90 percent, as well as a lifespan that can last several times the number of cycles of a lead acid battery, making it the go-to choice for those a little more serious about their solar setup. Once you have your batteries picked out and in place, and drawing a charge from your solar panels after passing through a charge controller, the DC electricity in your batteries is ready to use, but first, it needs to pass through a DC to AC inverter. This is because most devices are designed to operate on AC power. Your inverter can then be connected back into your house, and that's probably for a larger solar setup, so you might want to contact a professional if you want it to be plugged directly into your house, or what you can do with a small solar setup is plug directly into the inverter. So be sure to check out our video covering our picks for our top three solar panel kits to get you started. Check out the links in the descriptions below. Thanks. Thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to visit us at outcastland.com where we sell great recreational land, perfect for hunting, fishing, camping, uh, visit us on Instagram at Outcast Land Inc. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks and we'll see you next time.